Hello guys, welcome to another video in Applied Linguistics. Uh, in today's lesson, we will be talking about uh, the audio lingual method. This approach was developed right after the end of uh, World War II by Charles Fries, who led the way in applying, in applying principles from structure linguistics. In uh, 1947, principles from behavioral psychology, like Skinner, were applied. So basically, this approach came. Uh, I mean, the ideas or the principles uh, of these of this approach uh, are derived from structuralism and behaviorism. This method is based on the principle that language learning is a habit formation. The method fosters dependence on memorization of a set of phrases. So basically, it is this approach is about habit formation, like uh, in behaviorism, and it fosters uh, dependence on memorization memorization of set of, of phrases. So it is about memorizing a set of phrases. Okay, so. For example, a teacher would give students a set of phrases to memorize and to learn, like habit formation, get habitual to the phrases, etc. Structures are, are sequenced and taught one at a time. Structure patterns are taught using repetitive drills. So, okay, so the teacher uses drills to teach his students, and they teach each sequence. On its own, it's 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 uh, grammatical structure, for example, on its own. Teaching points out uh, points uh, are determined by contrastive analysis between L1 and L2. Okay, so they teach by contrasting between L1 and L2. So, for example, in grammar or structures of grammar, the teacher would compare between the structure of grammar of, of, of the target language with the structure of grammar of your mother tongue, etc. Use of the mother tongue by the teacher is permitted but discouraged among and uh, by the students. So the teacher uses uh, mother tongue as, an, as, a, uh, as an, a means of instruction, etc. Explains in, in, in the mother tongue, in your mother tongue, in student's mother tongue, but this is not kind of allowed by students, so it's only allowed by teachers. Successful uh, responses are reinforced. Great care is taken to prevent learners' errors. Okay, so they reinforce the successful response when you give um, a positive response, correct form of, of, of any grammatical structure, for example. They reinforce it, okay, and they try as uh, much as possible to prevent uh, errors. Drill material should always be meaningful. If the content words are not known, teach their meanings. Okay. So in case the, you come across some uh, some content words that are not uh, known to to the are not familiar to the students, they teach their meaning. Okay. Don't stand in one place. Move around the room, standing next to as many different students as possible to check their production. Thus, you will know who to give more practice to, to during individual drills. So the teacher uh, in this approach does not uh, stay, for example, in, in, in his desk. Okay, so he moves around around the classroom and checks who, who, who I mean, uh, checks the student who, who, who is participating, who is not, etc. Uh, thank you for your attention, and this is it for today's approach. See you in the next video.